Gunfire in a gas station parking lot. Two people dead and the investigation just getting started. And that is where we begin. The scene unfolding in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven near Reno and Czech Hall. And News Force Ashley Moss is there live for us. Ashley, update us on what happened. You know, in some ways, it's back to business as usual here at the 7-Eleven. The crime scene tape is gone. The vehicles that were here earlier are gone. The pumps are open. But let's show some video so that you can see how this all got started. That's footage of a tow truck pulling the vehicles that we believe are involved away. And what really what happened is authorities got a call around 2.30 this afternoon about a shooting right here at this 7-Eleven. Unfortunately, the man and the woman that were involved, we have learned in the last couple of hours that they did both die. They were transported as quickly as possible. And the unfortunate news right now is that authorities are still trying to piece together all the details. Right here on this scene, the vehicles were pulled into parking spots. We saw shards of glass. We saw clothing. We saw damage to the two vehicles that were involved and authorities were telling us earlier that they really weren't sure what happened. They just know that those two people were shot. They were killed um, and what was happening earlier is there was a lot of traffic in and out. Probably another important detail to know is that they do believe that this was an isolated incident so there's no immediate or ongoing threat to the public but we asked them what do folks in this area need to know and they said really just keep things as business as usual. If you you see us out in the area as we're doing our investigations let us do our job go ahead and keep the area clear as much as you can there was rush hour traffic earlier business is moving and cars are moving steadily still but obviously this is a sad situation because both of those people are dead and obviously the investigation is still going we are going to continue to gather those details for you and as always we will keep you updated on air and online live in yukon ashley moss oklahoma's news 4.